It's time for the ultimate battle of WooCommerce and Shopify. So if you can't decide which one's best for you and your client, then stay tuned. In this review, we're going to compare Shopify and WooCommerce point by point and declare the champion, the platform that's more cost efficient and easier to get started with. This video is brought to you by Tenweb, a managed hosting platform on Google Cloud for agencies. Sign up for a 14 day free trial and say no more shared hosting. And if you're interested in content about website management or WordPress in particular, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button as we post new videos every single week. Now let's get started. Well, Shopify is famous for being easy to use. In fact, you can sign up for a free trial and create a shop in just a couple of hours. And all of this you can do without any coding, just by dragging and dropping. What can be easier? And Shopify also takes care of your store's backup and security, so for a beginner, this seems like a dream come true. WooCommerce, on the other hand, takes more time to set up and is trickier to use. It's a WordPress plugin, so first you have to find a host, then install WordPress, and then install the WooCommerce plugin. You will also have to take care of your store's backup and security yourself, image and speed optimization by installing and updating those plugins. While a WooCommerce definitely gives you more freedom, it assumes you have to take on more responsibility. But guess what? All the difficulties of WooCommerce we just mentioned can be easily solved if you choose Tenweb, an all-in-one hosting platform that will make WooCommerce as easy to set up and use as Shopify. So if we take into account Tenweb, it seems like the first round is a draw. It's crucial for your store to look good and be customizable. Shopify offers 10 free and 60 premium themes that are easy to customize and receive regular updates. The premium ones cost somewhere between $140 and $180. WooCommerce at a glance has a very limited number of free themes, but its large collection of paid themes costs less than Shopify's, just $39. And if you sign up for 10 web, you'll access 40 plus designer made website templates for free, 10 of which are e-commerce store templates specifically. Those additional themes and our advanced builder will make WooCommerce a much better experience for you. WooCommerce and 10 web have more to offer in round two, so they win this time. It's clear right off the battle that WooCommerce wins this round, as WordPress is free and open source and it has a huge number of additional integrations and software you can make use of. WooCommerce will let you access a library of 55,000 free WordPress plugins and a lot of other paid ones. Shopify has over 4,700 different integrations and add-ons available, but still, in both quantity and quality, Shopify can't match what WooCommerce has to offer. This round is about the payment method, shipping, and the taxes of the store. With both Shopify and WooCommerce, you have a wide range of different uh, payment methods available. And the big difference is that Shopify charges an extra 2% on top of the third-party charges. But of course, Shopify has also its own payment method, which is called Shopify Payments, which is like PayPal and Stripe. Meanwhile, WooCommerce is open source, so it doesn't charge any extra fees. It just charges the fees that PayPal and Stripe charge. Shopify gives you the opportunity to use multiple languages. The translated content gets a separate URL. You can translate your store into 5 languages and 20 if you upgrade your plan. But the translations have to be done by a plugin called Langify, so you have to pay $17.5 a month. WooCommerce, on the other hand, has a lot of different plugins you can install to make your store available in different languages. One good option is Multilingual Press, which will cost you around $17 a month. But if that's too expensive for you, you can go for cheaper options. For example, WPML will uh, cost you $79 for the first year and $59 for the subsequent ones. Here too, WooCommerce gives you a lot more freedom uh, for fewer dollars, so again, WooCommerce wins another round. I bet you already know how important security is for online stores. Well, Shopify, being a fully hosted platform, takes care of uh, the security of your store automatically. Their security system is PCI compliant, meaning that it holds up high standards of payment data security. You can also get a backup solution and an option to enable two-factor authentication. 
WooCommerce gets a better reputation in terms of security, but that's only because users have to make security-related uh, decisions themselves. If you go with WooCommerce and TenWeb, though, your security will match on top that of uh, Shopify. We take all the state-of-the-art measures of security and constantly monitor your site to prevent any security breach. So again, we have a draw. Now let's talk about SEO, something that makes your store show up on Google search and gets people to click on the link. Shopify provides your store Shopify specific SEO recommendations that will give your search engine ratings a boost. You can also download and use a bunch of different SEO plugins such as SEO Booster. WooCommerce again gives you more choice. It's a more flexible system overall. You can choose which SEO to go with from a much larger selection. You can also get to choose which SEO strategy to employ. So I guess, uh, again, we have a draw here. Shopify has a great support system. You can reach them via call, email, or chat 24-7. The only downside is that there are no forms, so you cannot solve a problem on your own if you just search for it. WooCommerce, in contrast, has a bunch of different forums and online communities. So a lot of the time, you just Google and the answer will pop up. Uh, but if you still prefer support from the team, then make sure to go with a platform that has excellent support team. For example, TenWeb has 24-7 support uh, via chat and email, and we're always ready to take on any WordPress-related question. So I guess round eight is another draw. Well, Shopify is expensive for beginners. The basic plan, which includes hosting, a domain, and SSL certificate, starts at $29 a month. Uh, the plan doesn't include any of the additional third-party software costs. And as we saw, you will have to pay for all the extra services and solutions if you go with Shopify. On the other hand, WooCommerce is entirely free. Uh, it costs nothing but the hosting and domain to get started with. Luckily, providers like 10Web offer hosting, SSL certificate, and all the features uh, you might need from backup to security, image, and uh, speed optimization for just $10 a month. If you want to have multiple stores, you can pay $6 a month for one store and host 10 or more stores. Uh, so I guess WooCommerce is a definite winner in round nine. In conclusion, WooCommerce is the definite champion of this review. Not only is it free and open source, it also has a bunch of providers which will do what Shopify does at much cheaper prices. WooCommerce means more freedom and less extra heating costs. WooCommerce means that your store can thrive with fewer limitations. Don't go for Shopify just because it looks easier. WooCommerce can be as easy with solutions like TenWeb. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Take care and I'll see you in another video.